Hi guys and welcome back. I hope we're doing well. So I wanted to try a chatty get ready with me. I've not really tried one of these before um, just because talking whilst doing my makeup really isn't one of my fortes. So I've already done my skincare and attempted to fix the mane as best as I can. It really does need a wash but could be bothered. I've also tried out some new skincare makeup today. So this is a Perfecting Tint SPF 15 in medium and I believe it is just a tinted moisturiser and it's by Monu Skin. To be honest, if my skin hasn't, hadn't erupted um, the way it has the last couple of days, then I probably would have just stuck with this and not gone for a, a bleh. To be honest, if my skin wasn't as bad as it is at the minute, um, I've got a few like sort of cluster breakouts, um, I probably would have just stuck with it. So I'm gonna put a foundation on as normal, but I definitely think this will be what I stick to during the summer. So I'm going for my trusty faithful uh, Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid, and this is in the shade Ivory. This is what I use predominantly. It is we are nearly on empty now, so I don't know if anyone's really sort of taken any notice from like my previous videos. I have a new backdrop, a new room, <laughs> new space. Me and Jake had a day where we sort of evaluated the rooms and what we can do with them and what we wanted to do. Obviously me doing this also just meant pretty much we are now for the foreseeable going to be working from home even when things go back to whatever normal looks like after sort of the third lockdown has come to an end. So, the room I'm in at the minute used to be our living room. It's a bit of a pain in the ass in terms of its shape. It's a really, oh god, sorry if you can hear my stomach, <laughs> but it is a really nice sized room. I don't know if I'd say it's the biggest in our house, but there is, there is a lot of potential and with how we initially had it set out when it was our living room, it just didn't really work with the space as well. So Jake is now in what was my studio, my office, my wardrobe <laughs> effectively and he now has a games room, a cinema room, his own office and it's also somewhat his wardrobe now too. The room then also is technically still our living room, but obviously lockdown and we've never had that many people come round pre-lockdown to justify having a room that is specifically for a living room, if that makes sense. So we've given the room a bit more functionality, a bit more of a purpose. It was also a bit of a pain in here because this side of the house gets all the light mainly all day. So this room is predominantly windows. I've, had, I've got one curtain open, as you can see, and I've had to close this one just because it is really bright today. It's actually a really nice day, which um, is a nice change. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner next. So I'm using the Benefit Roller Liner and I've gone for brown, though admittedly it's not. I don't think it's very brown. I think it is when it's on, it does look black. I don't know how much talking I'm gonna do while I put this on, just because I'm really not, ugh, me and eyeliner have um, have our issues in terms of <laughs> days where it will go on right and days where it won't, so. One. I've got to try and do the other eye the same. Right, I'm back. I'm not going to talk about how long that took. I have a I have a love hate relationship with that that eyeliner because I have to keep it up 
or I have to keep it this way round to try and make sure that the liquid is constantly at the nib because one eye will go on really well and then even if I'm tr like trying to do it this way it just doesn't do it so it's not this eye isn't perfect but it will have to do I'm losing the world to live I love it but we have some issues let's put it that way right I'm gonna put some primer on my eyelashes I've fallen back in love with priming them first so I'm using the Maybelline Last Sensational Primer Mascara I can't really remember where I was before the ordeal I just went through with my eyeliner I'm pretty certain it was about the house but yeah, I mean, moral moral of it is that he's he's now got his own room. I have obviously my room again. And because my room had a wardrobe in it, me and Jake have done a swap. So I've taken over the wardrobe that's actually in our bedroom just because it's literally across the hall from this room. And Jake's got the wardrobe in his room. I had a proper blast decorating in here so although I haven't painted which is going to be a job for one of my weeks off from work at the minute I've just put up all my pieces so I've got like a proper a proper nice feature wall and I've kept some of the bits in here just because Jake wasn't bothered about moving them and he's just taken what he wanted for his room so I think it's nice it means that he's now going to have a space that he can decorate how he wants put prints up how he wants like is going to be his room and then obviously there'll still be touches of like me and him just because it is still somewhat communal but other than that it means that he's got his own little space and he's got a room that he knows is his so it's just it's just nice. I'm glad that I'm glad that we've sort of done this where everyone wins. We don't need we don't need just a living room. Like unless we get a house that's bigger where we can actually have a space that's a living room and then Jake can have his own like games room and I can have my own studio then, you know, that's great. But we've been talking about decorating. Um so I'm gonna decorate in here. Jake wants to decorate his room. I'm gonna decorate the hallway. Oh, I didn't actually mention, did I? Um, I used the Benefit 24 hour brow setter there in clear. And then I'm just gonna fill them in as I've uh, found a new, new fond love for a bit of a bigger brow at the minute. So we watched X-Men last night and then ended the night with Logan. Forgot how much I really enjoyed that film, even if it is downright sad <laughs> at the end. But, you know, it is it is a good film. I'm just gonna quickly use the Ardell Blonde Brown, uh, brown? Brow Pomade, um, just to sort of fill my brows in a little bit. I don't think I go over the top, but it does just help make them look a little bit fuller. So yeah, so Logan, awesome film. We've had quite a quite a film, a film inspired February to be honest, where I've seen a few films I'd never, I'd never watched before. Um, so Jake got me to watch Pacific Rim with Charlie Hunnam and Idris Elba. Very good film really enjoyed that. What else have we watched? We are caning through Vikings. I think we are now on the last season and I do love Vikings and I love all the mythology that goes with Vikings and it's just I'd love to have been a shield maiden in a past life that would be really cool. My foundation is not mixing well with that moisturiser at all. Mm. I am very patchy. That is not that is not ideal at all. I've not tried 
this with any foundations before so maybe maybe that is something best to leave on its own whoops okay well there we go live and learn don't you live and learn we've now got a week off it's my birthday week I'll be 25 on Wednesday it just feels strange this year like I literally I literally just just avoided um, my birthday in lockdown last year um, and my partner didn't and I think this year it'll be the other way around so I think Jake will probably get to have his birthday outside um, outside of lockdown not really gonna do much I think we might go for a walk just around just sort of locally because I know you can't go too far and then that's about it and I think we're also gonna go to the shop so I can pick a cake <laughs> And then my mum's doing a doorstop drop with some presents and she's made me a birthday tea. <laughs> so all I've got to do is um, put it in the oven and, and cook it. So that'll be, that'll be nice if I don't have to cook tea on, the, on my birthday. <laughs> now I'm just going to use the Bambi Eye False Lash and this is by L'Oreal. I really like this, uh, this mascara. It has won me over. I'm sort of mixing at the minute between this and Climax Mascara by NARS. I only bought a travel size because I didn't I didn't want to go to the expense of buying the full product and then not like it and not get on with it because um, obviously it's not the cheapest mascara to buy but I am actually really enjoying it I fancied I fancied using this today just because it's got a it's got a hard brush which I do prefer to sort of the soft bristly ones which is what the NARS one is for context yeah this was the NARS one my little baby and it is it is really nice I do like this one yeah explicit black climax mascara I'm then gonna use a oh, have only got like sort of remnants left in this bottle now um, so this is the the falsies push-up angel mascara you see how old it is it is going strong. This is by Maybelline, and I used this on my bottom lashes just because of the uh, the brush on it. So it does. It just does the bottom ones nicely. It's also very busy on my road today. If you can hear all the cars passing, I've also got a delivery turning up today for something that I don't. I don't remember ordering. So I'm. Um, curious as to what the what the hell that is I'm actually gonna use something a little different so usually my holy grail for my contour is my KVD palette but I'm gonna actually try the nip and fab and I think this is just bronzer so this is just a bronzer palette but that shade there looks suspiciously like what I use so I'm just gonna give that a try instead Yeah, that looks exactly like what I use. Oh my god. Yeah, highly, uh, highly suggest if you do get that um, tinted moisturiser, wear it on its own. Because the skin is just fucking, it's not very good at all. It's just lifting and... Uh, love it love it well don't know unless you try her i like this contour this is really nice actually hmm right and then i'm actually going to use the one next to it as the bronzer because it's a nice goldeny colour. That looks a bit like Laguna by Nars. That does. Except this one isn't smashed. Oh. <laughs> Except 
except this one's not smashed like my palette is. Yeah, so that's the um that's the palette and those are the two shimmers. That's what I've used for contour and that's the one I've used to bronze with. I'm gonna keep that out because I was looking in a drawer. I'm just gonna use some setting spray using my holy grail, which is my all nighter by Urban Decay, which you know I don't know anyone who doesn't use this. So I do use that to prime with sometimes as well. I, to be fair, I did forget today. <laughs> Never mind. So I'm going to use my Melted Matte by Too Faced, and this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. It is a fave of mine. I love Too Faced Melted Matte. They go on so nicely. The brushes are lovely to use. And they wear... They wear really well. My parcel's here. What the fuck have I ordered? Thank you, Jake. Right, and that is it. That is a strange, that is a strange delivery. gonna wait for him to leave. Feels like a doormat. Okay, I'll look at it in a minute. Okay, so parcel has arrived. Uh <laughs> so I'm either really bad when it comes to spending and forget what it is I'm buying or uh, someone sent it here, I, I don't know. I just hope that when I open it there's some sort of clarification inside the bag. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I am all ready for the day. It's officially the start of our week off. The sun has moved since uh, I've been sat here, lost some of my shade. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I actually really enjoyed doing this and sort of having a chat whilst getting ready. Obviously done nothing overly exciting, but this is sort of my uh, my go-to at the minute. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you here again next week.